So my first question, could you tell me your type of home ownership? Are you a renter or owner? Owner. Owner, okay. And what about, tell me a little bit about the structure of your home. Is it single family, detached home? Single family, 130 house in Bricks, eldest document brick house in Georgia. All right. How many stories? Two. Two stories, okay. And approximately when did you move in? I know it might have been in the family for years. Um, yeah, I bought it in 95. We moved in in 2004. Okay. Have you always lived in the Thompson McDuffie Correct. area? Correct. 11th generation. 11th generation. Awesome. So, so you know the area. All right. Could you tell me a little bit more? You mentioned it was a brick home. Is there anything else um, of importance about your home structurally? It's soundly built. It's 200, what, 13 years old. Part of Thomas Carr National Historic District is an important house. Okay. Well so, built. Good. All right. So you are the owner and all, and obviously you have not invested in any solar for your Absolutely home. not, because I would never put them. I've had so many roof problems. I put a new copper roof on. Mm -hmm. I still have problems. I would never put panels on a roof. Okay. So <laughs> just because of the structural? Absolutely. Okay. Very good. But I'm very pro-solar. All right. So, um, so you obviously made this decision, and it's all root, no rooftop solar, mainly for the structure because of roof problems. Correct. Okay. But Very I'm all for solar, and I think it's great to have it per house instead of a huge mega farm, mm -hmm. which is so unsightly given where, it, wherever it's sited, it could be unsightly. Okay. I'm all for individual energy self-sufficiency, and solar could provide that, but just not putting it on the roof. Right. Okay. <laughs> So if you lived in a different home, maybe if we thought about that and not so historic with no roof problems, do you think you still would not? No, never. Never? No, so not because on the roof. I'm simple. I don't want any water in the roof. I don't want any leaking. Right. And you put that weight on there, you're going to have problems. Although I know there are newer things where they're, they've actually made sh photovoltaic cells are almost like shingles, which would sneak. Yeah. If you wouldn't have a weight problem, I would consider it with another house. Okay. Okay, so mainly you're worried about that moisture and that structural integrity. Absolutely. Perfect. I gotcha. <laughs> no leaks. All right. <laughs> we have so many leaks, God. So now... This is painful. Thinking about rooftop solar adoption, not for your home, but in general, with looking at this map of the United States, could you circle where on that map you think there is the most rooftop solar used? And there's no right or wrong. Uh, just California, there. because they have a, a mandate. Okay. Circle? Yeah, you can just circle the area, put an X on it, whatever, something to identify. I would think here and, but I know it's been a huge, South Carolina's had a big push, so I would say that probably. Okay, and that's because of um, government mandates and different things? Or, or, or incentives. I think mandates are not good. I'm a, I'm a libertarian, but I think if you can incentivize it, that could be good. Okay, I agree. And makes maybe some of that savings of that initial investment. But I think everything should be market driven. It should be market driven. And, but now the cost of solar has plummeted. So now it's well, surely compatible with look at what plant bugles cost in a ridiculous amount. Yes, sir. Now looking more at our state, is there anywhere in our state you would circle or X that you think solar adoption is more prevalent than other areas? You would think it'd be in the south, but I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. Can I say I don't know? Yeah, you can say you don't know. You would think given government, they would probably try Atlanta, mm -hmm. even though it would make sense to have it down here. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. I know our choices are sometimes geographical based on sun and that, and then, but also you've got but, to weigh in people and their... But I would view. think the entire Georgia, because we have so much sun, and it's, it's, we should take advantage of it. Definitely. We need, definitely need to stop using coal. Climate change is a fact, That's, and man is causing that, there's no question. Mm -hmm. These deniers are just, <laughs> there's no question, and this, this experiment, we don't do something, it's gonna be serious, and solar is a perfect thing. We gotta worry about the um, long-term effects. There are problems with producing s solar panels themselves. Well, what about, what makes the people who do adopt solar, do you think, are they different than you or I, or why Why do they go for it? I think it makes them feel good, and maybe they, uh, I think it's a great idea. Okay, all right. 
What about your close friends here in Georgia? Do you have anybody that you know no. that has solar panels on I know for a while the federal government had about a 30% tax credit. I don't know if it's still available, which was a good thing. Okay. I'm not sure on that either. So I, lo I love credits and conservation easements. <laughs> Got to get conservation easements here. <laughs> <laughs> All right.